Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to root and how to install CM7 and uh, factory restore your Nuke tablet, which you can see here. Here's mine. Um, this will basically work with uh, both 1.4.0 and 1.4.1 versions of the Nuke tablet. First of all, we're going to need three files for this you're going to need an SD root NT 16 gigabyte v4 um, oh yeah forgot to tell you this works with uh, the 16 gigabyte version of the new uh, tablet not the 8 gigabyte okay so we're going to need that file where is the file we're going to use to root our tablet and uh, we're going to extract it of course we're going to get the contents all this uh, all these files i'm going to have uh, on the description so you know where to get them um, I didn't, these are not my files they, i didn't create those programs um, everything i got was, was from uh, xda developers so i will give credit to them um, in the description and uh, i will link you to their uh, websites and their videos also, you will need uh, the CM7 uh, ROM file and a uh, restore, basically a backup of uh, 1.4.0. If you're running 1.4.1 and you do all this, when you if you do the restore, the factory uh, restore, it'll bring you down to 1.4.1. But you can really easily just go back to 1.4. I'm sorry, it'll take you down to 1.4.0, but you can easily go back to 1.4.1. Alrighty, let me just go ahead and uh, show you here. Let me just the camera real quick. Okay, here's my uh, tablet. Uh, I just recently uh, rooted and flashed and basically factory restored everything. Did the the key command so I can uh, skip the registration. Let me just show you device info. Buy your nuke. Oh, let me see if you can see this. Okay, there we go. Software version 4.0. Point. You see, everything is unknown just because I didn't register it. See, this is regular nuke. All right, so let's go ahead and start this real quick. What you're gonna need uh, first is you're gonna need to do your SD root where you're gonna use for. So I'm going to show you on the computer. Alright, so first off, you're going to need two SD cards also. I have one that's running 256 and one that's running uh, 8 gig. The 256 one is the one you're going to use for your root. So basically, once you download the SD root file, you're going to um, extract it. Hopefully back in your desktop, open it go to your computer make sure you see which one's your your uh, actual um, SD card which I have it right there see it says boot I'm gonna show you how to do that you see mine's an M so we're gonna go here all right basically once you on uh, once you unzip it the SD root file, uh, you're gonna get a bunch of files here. You're gonna open Win32 Disk Manager.exe. It's gonna give you this. It's gonna show image file, device, progress. What you're gonna do under device, select your um, your letter that's associated to your uh, micro SD card. 
you're gonna click the little blue folder button to open your uh, your your uh, to select your disk. Go. You're gonna have to if you don't see the file right then and there. You're gonna have to find it, find the folder where you extracted all the information. Don't run the file from the uh, zip folder. It will have issues. It will have problems, and um, that's not gonna be a good thing. You're gonna have a lot of issues trying to fix this. Okay, so once you find the file, go ahead and you're going to double click or save or open, whatever. And make sure, remember, make sure that it's on the on the one um, that's uh, close to your, uh, I'm sorry, that's associated with your SD file. You're going to click right. Yes. Alright, so it's writing. Um, I might get an error or not. I'm not sure. The reason for that is because if I get an error, it would be because I didn't format my SD card, my micro SD. So make sure you format your micro SD card before you do this. We'll, we'll see right now if it, uh, if it gives you an error or not. If it does, then I'll show you what to do. So just real quick on the tablet, I mean, it's a, once you root it and you actually um, set it up with a CM7, um, it basically becomes a, a full uh, Android tablet. Not just if, if you root it, if you were to just root it with a Barnes and Noble um, OS. <coughs> It doesn't become a full-on tablet because of the fact that, well, I don't know how the how their OS is set up and stuff, but if you try to install, let's say, Facebook, um, Angry Birds, or whatever program you want, it, you're still going to have to pay, and you're not going to be able to install some of those because it's they're not uh, for, this, for that tablet, for the Barnes & Noble tablet. But once you do CM7, I mean, it's full-blown Android tablet. You can install everything without a, without having to pay, you know, whatever's free. And you won't have any issues. All right, so it's done. No errors. That's great. Go ahead and exit out of it. Just check your file. Okay. Made two of everything. Uh, that's not great, but whatever. We'll, I'll try to do with that. All right. You take your SD card or your micro SD card out of your computer, and we're gonna hook it up to the tablet. All right. So basically, right now, let me just show you guys. Let me turn on the light here. All right. Let me just put in the tablet. All right, while we're doing this, um, it's good to download all the files because uh, you're gonna, in your other SD card. If you only have one a micro SD card, you can do everything with one micro SD. You're just gonna have to be formatting that uh, micro SD card every time, and this is just a way to not have to do all that work. So I already went ahead and inserted it. This other SD card, you can put it in your computer download the CM7 uh, flash ROM and um, don't extract that one into it just you know download it also download the uh, CM7 uh, restore which I'll have all that on the description download both of those and I'll tell you what to do with them in a bit alright so I went ahead and uh, already put the SD card, insert it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my nuke. Didn't work. Alright. Turning off, powering off.
Okay. Uh, there's different tricks to uh, that to go into the recovery part uh, portion of the Nuke uh, tablet. Uh, on mine, it's have to press the N key and the power and hold them until the first uh, flash of the end screen. Uh, on some other ones, you just turn it on. And on the third one that I've seen, you have to plug it into the computer and then turn it on. So mine, like I said, mine, you press the N, press power. It's going to flash the N once. Sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't. It's going to do that. Let go. It's going to reboot. I, well, I think I have to press it. Some strange uh, what you have to do sometimes. Alright. There you go. Yeah, I guess on mine I just have to turn it on. Sometimes you have to press the N. See that flash that happened right now? Then you have to... Uh, you have to let go and it reboots. Alright, from here, let me show you guys. You're going to select uh, install zip from SD card. If you guys have um, done any type of ROM, uh, flashing any type of ROMs on a mobile phone, you will be, I mean, you'll, you'll know how this goes and it'll be pretty simple for you. So, here we go. It'll be install zip from SD. See if you guys can see it better. Alright, install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Oh, okay, no, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, we're back. Here we go, you go... You're gonna have uh, apps, uh, Barnes & Noble downloads, lost.dir, my files, uh, Titan backup. And root.zip um, nt16gbv4 uh, that, uh, underscore 6. So, you're gonna use that one, the root. You're gonna install. Go ahead and with uh, this, basically with your volume up and volume down to go up and down. And power button gives you goes to an OK. Or it's better to use the N button to select because the power button normally uh, makes you go back. So there we go. You're going to go back. You're going to reboot system now. The N. It's a lot better with the N. It's rebooting. This is uh, just to first root your your Nuke tablet, 16 gigabyte. I just see it loading. Alrighty, there we go. So it gives you the ADW launcher and the home launcher. Well, if you want, for now, we're just going to go ADW launcher. Yeah, it's always going to have problem loading. We just go ahead and throw that in the trash. Okay, so this is basically a rooted Nook tablet. Um, it looks like 100% uh, an Android, you know, uh, tablet, but it's not. It's just uh, the same Nuke tablet, just root it. You cannot install uh, certain apps. Oh, well, there's a lot of apps that you cannot install. 
everything's still the same if we press home you know the library everything is still there so it's good if you want to keep it um, still with the nuke settings and everything here let me just show you about your nuke and it's still on the same stuff uh, you can't see it still 4. Point, uh 1.4.0 but it's still nuke and everything you can go to your home you see you can go through back all right so right now what we're gonna do we're gonna click the home button twice we're gonna go to that one with the little house and the x that's uh, your to go to your ADW launcher there we go this is where we want to be all right from here let me show you it comes with this program called uh, um, ES file explorer should be you should be able to see it ES file explorer go ahead and select it <coughs> It comes with a few uh, programs that are going to be very useful right now. Okay, yes, right, whatever. Okay, so this is basically your file explorer, you know, favorites, downloads, home, you know, everything that's going to come with uh, the Nuke. So what you want to do is, I believe it's going to be in my files. Well, no, I'm sorry. Apps from this main screen go to your go to apps you're gonna have two you're gonna have nuke unrooter that is if you want to unroot your nuke and go back to the stock this is only this is um from what i believe it only works if you're on a uh, on some type of rom with the nuke system still and we have a nuke recovery flash I'm gonna show you this video with the nuke recovery flash you don't need to install it but it makes the whole process a lot easier to install so here they, here they are both makes it just a, a lot easier to install it's a lot it's pretty good so I'm gonna do that to install I want to install okay open here we go this program right here it's gonna give you a couple of three options it's gonna say reboot recovery flash uh, C uh, clockwork mod and uh, install stock recovery what you're gonna do is you're gonna flash clockwork mod allow allow okay recovery flashed okay so they flashed your uh, clockwork mod has been flashed into the Nook tablet itself. Simple. You can go back. ADW launcher. That's it. That's basically all you would need to do. To uh, right now when we when we're gonna do the flash to CM7. All right. 